It's a disaster. All good things must come to an end. And in this case, Ron Hextall made sure that this was going to be the Penguins' last year. And he should be the guy that gets canned. And Brian Burke should follow him out the door. And Mike Sullivan will stay because he's won two Stanley Cups. But I'm not convinced that he's doing a very good job right now either, Richie. Well, Pony, uh, the one thing maybe Pence fans can hope for, you p predicted them not to go to the playoffs now. Um, the expert prognosticator in the city. It's I heard over. Chris. It's, uh, I, I agree with you on this one. I agree with you on the pit one, too, the pit game. Uh, we both lost that one. But, um, yeah, I, I can't see this team keeping around Ron Hextall. I don't understand. What did he do uh, to get the job? What did he do to deserve the job? Um, all he's done is screw things up. Yeah, the owners apparently don't care because they're not around. They're off running their baseball and soccer teams and everything else. They don't really give a crap about the Penguins. Apparently, if you read Ron Cook today, they've alienated Mario Lemieux to the point where this was the first game he attended all year. And he was supposed to still have a ceremonial uh, title. He was still going to be around. He was still going to probably be involved in some big hockey decisions. And no, that's not the case. So this, this is a bad time. For Penguins fans, I guess eventually it was going to happen where the bottom was going to fall out. But the shame of it all is Sid's played well, Malkin's played well, and Latang has played well when he's been available this year. And it's not going to happen because of a lot of things that are really uh, res the, the responsibility of the general manager. In the end, he did such a lousy job, Richie, that this team is going to miss the playoffs. Even if they make the playoffs, and there is a chance that they could make the playoffs, they're on the outside looking in right now by what a point. But if they make the playoffs, they're going to get steamrolled by Boston. They have no chance. That'll be over in four games. Oh, absolutely. You know, Boston would love that series. To play the Penguins, oh, you know, Sidney Crosby and those guys, they've never beaten the, the Bruins in the playoffs. They went, again, they went at it once. It was a Boston sweep, so they're not intimidated by the Penguins. They wouldn't look at the Penguins' Stanley Cup wins and think, oh, no, we're afraid of this matchup. These guys spook us or freak us out because they've got winning pedigree. This team has not won a playoff series in four years going on five. They're used to early exits. They're used to their seasons ending in April. They're used to being one and done. And there, there wasn't enough done to help out those guys this summer. Congratulations, they brought them all back. But when there were opportunities to add to this group, they kept guys like Kapanen around. They held on to Brock McGinn and gave him a lousy contract, a terrible contract. So the Penguins are reaping what Ron Hextall has sowed for this team, Richie. And that is a situation where they're going to really need to win games on the road against better teams in order to just make the playoffs. Yeah, and they're sticking with Tristan Jari here, too, in that. Did he do anything to impress you, to give you any hope uh, that he could be a goalie that I mean, might he, help this team in the future? He made, he made some really nice saves. But like we say a lot of the time with uh, Tristan Jari, the guy in the other net was better. He got outplayed again. He was not bad. I'd give him but probably But 20 shots, a two goals and 20 oh, shots. I know. That's, that's I know. Yeah, you should not give up two goals on 20 shots. Now, it could have been worse at times with some of the odd man situations and things like that. The great save he made right before he gave up the goal that made it 2-1 to one on Debrinket. But, no, I mean, overall... You're right. You're at home against a team you're better than. If it's only 20 shots, you should be the winning goaltender that night. And he found a way, like he often does, to give up one more goal than the other guy allowed. All right, we're going to take a break. Coming back with your phone calls and some pit basketball talk. We're going to break it all down. 412-575-2600 is the number. See you in a couple of minutes.